Hello everyone. Today on our channel, we have a truly iconic hero, the Mantis. In his honor, the Chinese created a separate style of martial arts, Wushu. While European gardeners specially buy these insects and plant them in their gardens to protect plants from pests. You're on the Animal Instinct channel. Today we'll look at the Mantis, truly a universal soldier of the insect world. Sit back and relax, we're starting. Let's see what a praying mantis is capable of. We begin with a rather unusual confrontation between a praying mantis and a wasp. The mantis caught a small grasshopper, but it couldn't eat in peace. A wasp immediately flew in and wanted to get its piece of the prey. Even though adult wasps typically feed on fruit pulp and plant juices, they have larvae that eat only animal food. The wasp tries to tear off its piece of the prey, but the mantis doesn't pay any attention to it. This wasp got lucky. But here's what happens when the mantis is hungry. Thanks to its camouflage, it blends in perfectly with the plant and the wasp doesn't see any danger at all. Meanwhile, the mantis freezes in anticipation of prey. It grabs the careless wasp, which briefly landed on the flower. The wasp can't break free from the predator's grip and it becomes dinner. The mantis is so strong that it can hold prey that outweighs it. Here, it grabbed a bumblebee and easily holds it with its legs. All this while, the mantis is even hanging upside down, but this doesn't hinder the hunt in the slightest. Here, luck is also on the mantis's side. And here's an Asian hornet, the most dangerous striped opponent. But the mantis, already sensing its prey, is aiming for the hunt. It quickly grabs the unsuspecting hornet. Here, it won't miss its chance. Ordinary grasshoppers, which are food for the mantis, are not always easy prey. Their powerful jaws can pose some problems for the attacker. Plus, they're also predators and quite active. Here, the mantis is getting ready to attack a huge grasshopper. The mantis launches its attack, but still throws the grasshopper to the ground. A few seconds of grappling and the opponents separate. Apparently, the mantis overestimated its strength, but not all grasshoppers are so kind. This winged grasshopper looks like a leaf and seems quite harmless, but it's an incredibly dangerous predator. Like the mantis, it is a master of camouflage and easily blends in with the surroundings. Like the mantis, it has sharp spikes on its legs that it uses to grab its prey. Like the mantis, it has a highly developed mouth apparatus consisting of huge jaws and powerful muscles. And the grasshopper is also very aggressive and always hungry. Two dangerous predators met on the same path, which means a fight is inevitable. The mantis attacks first and grabs the grasshopper by the antennae but the grasshopper manages to break free and hides on the other side of the leaf. The mantis attacks again, and again not very successfully. The grasshopper, using its antennae, calculates the distance to the enemy and makes its move. It pushes off with its hind legs and grabs the mantis with its four front legs. Now its powerful jaws come into play, finishing the job. Unlike the mantis, the grasshopper has spikes on all four of its front legs. This mantis wasn't so lucky either. It got tangled in a spider web which means it has few chances. The spider acts cautiously and begins to wrap the mantis from below, fearing its grasping legs. And only when the prey is completely immobilized does it deliver the fatal bite. In the first part, many were surprised that the mantis could hunt snakes. I found a few more confirming videos. Here, the mantis grabbed a not very long, but quite thick snake, which doesn't intend to surrender easily. The snake wriggles and tries to break free, but the mantis holds its prey tightly. It grabbed it near the head and the snake can't do anything. In this battle, the mantis won. And this is another attack on a snake. And here, everything follows the same scenario. The mantis grabs the snake closer to its head and plunges its sharp jaws. Despite its larger size, the snake has no chance of breaking free. Mantises are very resourceful when it comes to hunting. They can climb into the most unusual places. Here, the mantis has climbed onto a bird feeder and is waiting for its prey but the hummingbird flies up very cautiously and the mantis can't attack in any way. At some point, out of desperation, it even tried to catch a wasp. But now the bird has landed on the feeder, time to attack. But here too, the mantis is unlucky and only feathers remain in its claws. And this red bird is called a cardinal and it's not afraid of the mantis at all. On the contrary, the mantis turns from hunter into prey. It stands on its hind legs and spreads its wings wide to appear larger. This doesn't deter the bird, and it begins to attack cautiously. When it becomes clear that the mantis doesn't pose a threat to it, the cardinal grabs its prey and flies away with it. 
The bird has avenged all the hummingbirds caught. And in this footage, the mantis caught and is eating a big lizard. It's not even immediately clear where the mantis is. Its camouflage is so good. The lizard is pretty big, but that didn't help it in the fight against the predator. What happens if the mantis meets a centipede? This is a very dangerous hunter with poisonous jaws, about which there is already a video on the channel. Be sure to check it out. The mantis, as a rather intelligent creature, used its secret ability. Just look how it sank. I didn't even think that mantises could run so fast. But if a fight is inevitable, you have to go all in. In this old video, the mantis met a centipede in battle, and it's holding up very well. Being a fighter, the mantis relies on its very sharp body parts. The mantis immediately clamps onto the centipede and begins to eat it. The centipede couldn't bite the mantis first, and now it has no chance. Here, on the contrary, luck is already on the centipede's side, which wraps the mantis with its legs and prevents itself from being bitten. The mantis tries to attack, but the centipede's carapace reliably protects it from the spiky legs. In a battle between two predators, the one who strikes first usually wins, and this is already an unequal weight category. A huge black cat has entered the ring against the mantis, but our green hero doesn't flinch and even attacks first. Probably the cat doesn't need this fight, and it decided to lie down to regain its strength. The counterattack begins, and now the mantis is defending itself from the huge black paws. The mantis sways like a professional boxer, but it doesn't help much. Now the mantis is lying in the ring, but even lying down, it shows how cool it is. The mantis executes a hold from which its opponent doesn't know how to break free. After this move, the cat no longer wants to attack and leaves the ring. The mantis is so fearless that it dares to attack even nomadic ants. But this is a very dangerous occupation. The ant colony acts as a single organism. In case of danger, one of the first ants throws itself into the mantis's mouth. This temporarily disables the hunter. Reinforcements arrive for the ants, and they completely cover the mantis. The outcome of this fight is obvious. The mantis blends in with the environment perfectly, but it's not the only master of camouflage. And if you don't see the predator, it doesn't mean that it doesn't see you. And here our hero unexpectedly becomes the prey of a more successful hunter. This is a regular hedgehog, which also loves to feast on insects. And if it smells a mantis, it will only think about how to get a good meal. The hedgehog is covered in thousands of needles, so the mantis's attacks don't impress it at all. And this is a real gang who got to the mantis. First, the bird pesters it, probably asking for seeds or a phone. Then the lizard runs up and grabs the poor thing. After a short struggle, this gang steals the mantis and goes off to share the loot. Mantises love to feast on bees. Small bees can't harm a big mantis, which he takes advantage of. The mantis instantly grabs a careless bee and immediately starts to eat it. At this time, a second bee flies up, sensing danger, but it too becomes dinner for the predator. But if there are many bees, this creates some inconvenience for the hunter. In the video, the mantis climbed onto the beehive again, ready to have lunch. He grabs one bee, but he can't eat it in peace. Bees begin to swarm the mantis and bite its legs. Bees' jaws are quite small, and they don't inflict much damage, but the mantis still lets go of its prey, and then falls itself. However, the mantis is probably very hungry because he climbs back on the hive a second time and the whole thing repeats. The bees don't intend to tolerate the unwanted guest and they knock the mantis off again. Here, the mantis caught a wasp. It's going to eat it. The wasp is only slightly larger than a bee and doesn't create any problems for the mantis. The mantis holds it with its front legs and begins to eat it alive. Within a few hours, nothing remains of the wasp. But all of this is easy prey for the mantis. What will happen if it encounters an Asian hornet? These are huge insects, reaching two inches in size, with powerful jaws and long stingers. One such hornet can kill up to 40 honeybees per minute. In the video, a hornet attacked a praying mantis, and a battle ensued. The hornet is on top and tries to sting its opponent. It uses its powerful jaws, biting off the mantis's legs and leaving it no chance. And here's another fight between a praying mantis and a hornet, and here too, things are not going well for the mantis. The hornet tries to bite off the front legs that the mantis uses to attack, but then it flies away. And although the mantis remains alive, without its front legs, it won't be able to hunt and will perish. Only in one fight did the mantis manage to successfully grab the hornet, and it didn't miss its chance. But this is more of an exception. Praying mantises often attack spiders, 
and often quite large and dangerous ones. Here, the mantis is about to attack a wolf spider. A swift rush, and the wolf spider is trapped in the mantis's grip. It can't break free and bite the mantis, and the mantis already starts dismembering its prey with its sharp jaws. Another mantis noticed the successful hunt and also wanted a taste. You see rare footage of two mantises sharing one prey. Well, of course, a fight is inevitable. And here, the mantis is hunting a small spider, which doesn't pose any problems. But if the fight takes place in the spider's field, the mantis has a hard time. In the video, the mantis got caught in a small spider's web, but he can't do anything. The spider keeps its distance and carefully wraps the mantis's legs, after which it completely encases the prey in its web and only then delivers a fatal bite. Praying mantises can even hunt snakes. Here, a small snake literally crawls into its mouth. A short struggle and the prey is already in its grip. All that's left is to use its jaws. Here, the mantis is hanging upside down and preparing to attack. It grabs the snake, which is several times bigger, but it doesn't scare it at all. The snake tries to wrap itself around the mantis, but it can't do anything. It's doomed. In this video, the snake was also attacked by the mantis, and it's not immediately clear where the mantis is. It has such good camouflage. The mantis's speed of reaction is amazing. It can even hunt birds as fast as hummingbirds. Hummingbirds make up to 200 wing beats per minute, but when they land on a feeder, they're defenseless. The mantis immediately throws out its front legs and grabs the little bird. It tries to break free, but it can't. Thankfully, human help arrived. What if I told you that this insect can even catch a rodent? A small mouse was walking past the mantis, and it immediately attacked it. The mantis, lightning fast, grabs its prey with its legs and begins to eat it. In this fight, the mouse has no chance, and perhaps the most unusual fight, where the mantis will face a lizard. The lizard is preparing to attack and has already stuck out its tongue, but the mantis grabs it with its front legs and grabs the opponent by the head. The lizard is engulfed by prickly spikes and can't do anything while the mantis creeps closer and uses its sharp jaws. For a moment, the lizard manages to break free, but for some reason it doesn't run away. This is its biggest mistake because the mantis won't give it a second chance. It attacks a second time and finishes what it started. Mantises got their name from their long front legs, which they hold before them, as if in prayer. They are very unusual, large insects, reaching four and a half inches in length and forming their own order. The mantises, which includes over 2,800 species, Despite the rather strong differences between them, all mantises share common features. A small triangular head, a long narrow body and long limbs. There is some resemblance to grasshoppers, crickets and stick insects. However, their true relatives are cockroaches, which also make an excellent meal. All mantises are predators. Unnoticeable, fast, ruthless, they feed only on live prey. And for hunting, they are equipped with a whole set of excellent tools incredibly developed front legs, a formidable weapon with spines for capturing their target. They open up like pen knives, securely grabbing their prey and holding it. The small triangular head rotates 180 degrees, providing an excellent overview. Mantises are the only insects capable of turning their head in all planes, which is a huge advantage. They are helped by five eyes, two complex compound eyes and three simple eyes located above the antennae. They allow them to see the movement of prey at a distance of up to 60 feet. If the light is low, the mantis navigates well by sound, having only one ear. A developed oral apparatus completes the image of a universal soldier. Powerful jaws work like sharp knives, tearing pieces of flesh from the victim. Like most insects, mantises have wings. Interestingly, only males fly, and even then not far, at most from branch to branch. Males, though they have wings, cannot take flight with their help. It is worth noting that there are also wingless species, and wings can be used as a means of intimidating potential enemies. They often have some bright pattern on them. At the sight of danger, the mantis spreads its wings wide, raises its front legs up, and starts to sway. Mantises are typical ambush predators, who never chase their prey. They have excellent camouflage and blend in with the environment easily. Mantises are ready to sit motionless for hours waiting for their victim, and almost always, it brings its results. The mantis's coloration precisely matches its habitat, and it can be very difficult to guess where the mantis is, and you've already found it. 
The remnants of food often get stuck on the spikes of their front legs, which can be a source of infections. That's why mantises wash their hands several times a day. Each time, they meticulously clean their weapons. Praying mantises eat almost anything that runs or flies past them. These can be cockroaches, flies, grasshoppers, crickets, and other small insects. They are also cannibals and can eat their fellow mantises without a second thought. Moreover, there is the well-known, not-so-pleasant moment of insect mating, where the female eats the male before the act of love is finished. Although only some species of mantises do this, to somehow protect himself, the male, who, by the way, is significantly smaller than the female, performs a kind of ritual dance to calm his partner and show her that he is not prey. After mating, if he is lucky enough to survive, the male pretends to be dead, and only after he is sure that the female is not paying attention to him does he disappear. Praying mantises don't live for more than a year. People are increasingly keeping them as pets because they don't smell, don't make noise, don't require much space, time, or attention. They are truly ideal pets. None of the mantis species are dangerous to humans, but you shouldn't provoke them. They can still give a painful bite. Mantises eat anything that moves, including other mantises, but they themselves are sometimes hunted. In this episode, a jumping spider chose a mantis as its prey. Mantises have excellent vision, but they are far from spiders in this regard. After all, a jumping spider has eight eyes, which allows it to easily control its victim. There is no escape, and the last chance remains to use a secret weapon. Mantis style, it takes a defensive stance, trying to look bigger, and it works. The spider retreats. It would seem that salvation has arrived, but the orchid mantis thinks otherwise. That's how aggressive and dangerous our hero turned out to be today. Show your appreciation for the video with a like and a comment. That's all for now. I'm saying goodbye to you as usual for a short while. See you later.